thank you very much guys so uh, in our previous class what we have done is we have tried to identify what is the uh, you know uh, what how to create a workspace in a pro account okay so you cannot create a workspace when you have a free license free power bi license okay so because you know collaboration and all these things can be difficult so here we were speaking about something called as a workspace okay so which is called as premium per capacity workspace okay so i basically spoke about the difference between the this particular workspace this is a pro account workspace and the second is called as premium capacity workspace premium capacity workspace okay uh, you can able to see that this premium capacity workspace are having these diamond icon can you see that these diamond icon icon and i also told you how we can actually convert okay an existing pro license workspace to a premium by just going to by just going to workspace settings see here workspace settings premium okay so right now we are actually having premium workspace so that's the reason we have it and along with that we we can also convert it into something called as pro account see something like this okay so there are various advantages um, you know uh, by using these kind of workspace we will be discussing about in a very detailed aspect but meanwhile i you also have an option called as settings here okay as soon as you click on the settings even that settings will take you to the same area okay so this azure storage azure log analytics all these things are only available with uh, you know uh, capacity that is premium and capacity itself okay it won't be available with pro account please make sure this particular thing okay and adding to that adding to that premium also come up with uh, you know something called as data flows okay currently we don't have the data flows today we will be creating these data flows as well but meanwhile meanwhile um, yesterday i was speaking about something called as yesterday i was speaking about something called as data pipelines okay like uh, you know deployment pipelines how to um, create something called as production environment how to create something called as um, you know test environment how to create something called as uh, you know what i can say um, uh, you know development environment so here so here you can also create by just clicking on this particular thing so currently you have something called as manufacturing dashboard this is your manufacturing dashboard here you can just click on this create pipeline okay and you can just name the uh, you know pipeline like you are i'm just going to say dashboard okay dashboard one i'm just going to say dashboard test let me call this a dashboard test okay so this is my pipeline i'm just going to put some description hi hello everyone okay something like this and i'm just going to say create okay so now it is going to ask me three things okay now it is going to ask me three things okay currently choose the stage of the development process okay so currently you are in a develop, you know development phase testing phase or the production phase which phase you are so i'm just going to say no 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 i'm just here in development phase i'm just going to say assign so here what is actually happening is it is going to say that okay there are zero data flows there are zero data marts there is only one data set and there is one report can you see that can you see that this particular thing so these are the informations which are actually available okay I, there is something called as publish app i will be speaking about this publish app okay in a later stage but right now just have a check on this particular thing just have a check on this particular thing so when i am done with this okay when i am done with this which basically means when i am completed developing the dashboard when i am when i finalize that okay this dashboard is good okay in that case what i can actually do is i can say deploy to test okay if i am going to click on this deploy to test it is going to ask me which are the dashboard that you want to deploy okay i'm just going to say i want to deploy all these three of this here i want to deploy all these three things see here deploy okay so now what will actually happen is so here you have your uh, you know what i can say data flow zero data marts also zero data set as one and report as one the same information will be available here can you see that will be the same information 
will be available here within few seconds. Okay. So when I am done with this, for example, if, if the testing has been done perfectly and uh, we found that the dashboard is really good or something like that, then in that case, what I can actually do is, then what I can actually do is, I can do further deployments as well. I want to say, okay, take it to the production. So when I dump this, I repeat again, when I dump this into production, this production, uh, you know, what I can say, um, folder will be used by the client or viewed by the client. And this will be the, this will be the area that will be visible. I repeat again, that will be visible for the client. Okay. So all these three things are actually having this tick mark. Can you see that? All these three things are actually having this tick mark. So in production, okay, uh, client is actually having this check and he found that uh, dashboard, there is a lot of scope for improvement for the dashboard. Okay, then what he will do is he will say, okay, um, I want to do further changes for this particular dashboard and all these things. Then what he will do is you will go to the, uh, this thing, production. This is this the default one, right? Huh. This is the default one. Then what he will do is he will say, okay, this is good. You have to do certain changes and all these things. Okay, so you're just going to go here. You're just going to uh, remove this particular visualization. Let's let's do something like this. You're just going to remove this particular visualization. Okay, and you're going to save this here. You're just, just going to save this. Okay, when you go to the, this deployment pipeline, when you go to this deployment pipeline, you have various deployment. Okay, so I'm just going to delete these deployments so that uh, things are clear without confusion. I have something called as dashboard test. Okay, I can just click on this. See here, as soon as I done one small change, I, I deleted one of the visualization from the dashboard. Okay, so as soon as I did that, as soon as I did that, so right now I got an exclamatory mark, something like this. I got an exclamatory mark, something like this. So what I can do is I just need to sync this. I can, I just need to sync this. I can just go here. I can click on this visualization and I can only, I can only update one of the visual or one of the report. Okay. Something like this here. I'm just, I can just say deploy. Okay. This, uh, this, this uh, option will go off. Okay. Now, now what is going to happen is now these two are not going to match. Okay. These two are not going to match and due to which you are again having this particular icon can you see that you are having this particular icon so you can click on this compare see here you can just click on this compare so here here you are able to see that the this is a report which is actually not matching because that was the one which i basically changed because i deleted one visual from that particular visualization right okay so you can basically see that particular thing here okay so this can actually make your life easy this can actually make your life easy to consume the report to consume the report okay so i'm just going to i'm just going to okay this, this is the uh, you know what i can say report right which is not matching so I'm, i can just say deploy this something like this so all of these three are going to be match are are, are will be matching okay so this is how we can actually update the folders, okay, and update the production system. So here you have various time zones, see here, okay, when it was been deployed, when it was been deployed, all this information will be available with you, okay, in hand. Hope you are clear on this particular part. Hope you are clear on this particular part. Do you have any questions, guys? Do you have any questions? Amol, Vivek, Rathod, Praveen, Amit Kumar, Sunit, Ashwini, Ravindra, Vijay, Sanjay, Rahul. Any questions, guys? Any questions? So I got many uh, response saying that as no. Uh, so that's the reason I'm just going to go ahead. Okay. So uh, this is this is one of the one of the beautiful aspect of development. Yes, Nathan. Yes.
Nitin, do you have any questions? No, wrongly. No, wrongly. It's okay. It's okay. It's absolutely fine. So what I was actually saying is now you got to know how we can actually use this deployment. Okay. So you also understood how this, this particular deployment can be managed. Okay. So I want to give you that. I want to give you a small tip here. Please make sure I repeat again, please make sure whenever you are actually uh, using this deployment, see here, you have something called as this is your development. This is your production. This is your testing the same folders. So if you go to this manufacturing dashboard, okay, see here, if you go to this manufacturing dashboard, you will be able to see this particular dashboard. Can you see that? Can you see that? So similarly, see here, if you go to this testing, okay, where is this testing? Huh? This is a testing manufacturing dashboard testing. Okay. So here you will be able to see this particular thing, same folders, same, every information will be same. Okay. And similarly, last but not the least, last but not the least, you also have this production, which is also having this particular thing. Okay. Can you see that? Okay. All the names are same. All the database are same. Okay. All every, everything what you're actually seeing here are absolutely same. There is no change. Okay. So a replica, what I'm speaking about here is when you have a deployment pipeline, okay, a replica of the data set and reports will be published here. Okay. Reports will be published here. Okay. And you also have some options wherein you can actually refresh the data. Can you see that? Refresh the data. Okay. And refresh the dashboard. This specific, uh, you know, what I can say options is actually available with you. Adding to that, adding to that, please make sure I repeat again, please make sure whenever I repeat again, whenever you are actually sharing this dashboards. Okay. For example, uh, I have this development dashboard. Okay. Workspace. Okay. So I can only share this. See here. I can only share this to people who have at least, I repeat again, who have at least pro version free people. I mean, the people who don't have power BI access, they won't be able to, uh, you know, use this particular workspace. Please make sure this. Okay. So what you can actually do is you can actually create something called as a workspace manager or something like that in your team. Okay. And you, you know, your developers are going to develop the dashboard and the manager is going to publish that into the workspace, something like this. Okay. And they, the dashboard will go into testing. Okay. Wherein they will do um, testing on the application. Okay. Number one, number two, they will also test the, test the variables, how the dashboard is going to, uh, you know, respond. Is there any kind of delay and all these things, all these things will be tested in the testing phase. So when there is a clear go in the testing phase, then it will be pushed into production. Okay. Something like this, there, this is going to be the lineage, how dashboards are being developed and how, how dashboards are being published. Okay. So here, here, there can be multiple people. I repeat again, there can be multiple people in the deployment pipeline. Okay. Like I am developing one of the part and someone else is doing another part or something like that. These, these kind of, these kind of variations can be done, but please make sure that, uh, um, you know, the, you know, you need to sync with the, you need to sync with the dashboard. For example, you're working on the data. First, you have to complete the uh, data, you know, working on the data and you have to publish it. When you publish it, then only someone else can actually build the report from that particular dashboard, something like this. I'm just giving you a small rough idea here. Okay. And adding to that, adding to that, there are also controls. So there are also something called standard controls, wherein you can even disable. Okay. Right now you have this, uh, this thing, right? download so you can even disable uh, the these uh, this thing what i can say workspace as well okay so there is something called a standard workspace let me see where is this standard workspace inside preview ha huh? see here okay modern visualization tool tips if you want it to be on or if you want it to be off if you want the comments to be disabled so if i'm going to say some comment to be disabled so no one else will be able to comment on the dashboard Okay. Yesterday I showed you how comments can actually help you to build better dashboards. Isn't it? So here you can actually disable comments. 
okay you can also uh, disable the filter as well so if you see at the this particular end there is filter okay so even you can actually disable the filter and all this okay you know page plane and all these things can be actually can be actually managed here okay managed here okay in this particular workspace okay so these are some of the i repeat again these are some of the things that you need to take care i repeat again these are some of the things that you need to take care of dashboard preparation and sharing okay and there is also something called as dashboard publishing okay there is also something called as dashboard publishing which basically mean which basically mean so here you have various types of workspace can you see that okay so if you click on any one of the uh, you know what i can say workspace here you have something called as create app can you see that you have something called as create app you can click on this create app okay and here you can say uh, you know the description hi hello everyone hi hello everyone something like this okay so here you have controls to share the dashboard which basically mean you can you can publish this particular dashboard and someone else can actually see this using a link yesterday i also showed you how to see the dashboard using a link but you know publishing this application i repeat again publishing this application will actually change the ui ux that is user interface okay which basically mean the user interface so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to publish this particular app okay i'm just going to say hi hello everyone i'm just going to publish this app okay see here it will take something like 5 to 10 minutes okay and as soon as this particular dashboard is been published okay it will provide you a link something like this i'm just going to copy this particular link see something like this and see here i'm just going to paste this uh, you know link so when you share this link to someone else okay like your manager or something like that okay he will be able to get dashboard something like this wherein if he is going to click okay he will be able to he will be able to see the visualizations okay he will be able to see the visualizations right now the dashboard is okay okay i think there has been some uh, you know problem with the uploading or something like that but in a simple way what i am actually saying is okay so the client can actually just look at this particular thing just look at this particular dashboard and the look and feel is completely different the look and feel is completely different which basically mean which basically mean okay if i am going to have the same dashboard i am just going to open the same test folder here i am just going to click on project see here okay oh yes there is a small problem in the dashboard okay so if you are going to see this dashboard something like this see here if you are going to see this dashboard something like this and if you are going to see the same dashboard something like this okay wherein you can do personal branding as well like you can put some logo here you can you can do some changes in the naming convention as well you can say marketing team and in marketing team you have um, you know what again say sales analysis you have employee performance da dashboard you have uh, something called as uh, tender sales dashboard something like this okay you can you can have a collection of uh, dashboards in marketing team similarly collections of da dashboards in uh, this thing what i can say um, uh, production you know in you know finance team something like this i'm just giving you a small idea here so these specialized dashboards can be prepared these specialized dashboards can be prepared and deployed okay so here the client will be able to see something a dashboard something like this he will be able to play around here itself see here he he can actually play around here itself okay something like this and he will be able to consume this particular dashboard let's assume he want to download this dashboard and all he can do that if you want to um you know right you know embed this as well into a into a web, website or something like that they can actually do, they can actually do something called as website portal they will get this html uh, this thing link okay they will get this html link which can be embedded into a website or a internal website or even a sharepoint as well so all these options are there see here there is also sharepoint embedding as well see sharepoint online embedding okay so you can embed this dashboard into any of your personal requirement 
okay so that uh, you know there is less effort i repeat again there is less effort which has been put okay to um, showcase the dashboards okay one of the technique is this particular thing one of the technique is this particular thing which is actually called as application this is an application this is a pure application this is a web application that you that we have built using the dashboard that uh, that is available in our workspace that is available in the workspace we have used the same dashboard and built this application so you can use this particular application okay so here there are some disadvantages okay for you okay so to consume this dashboard i repeat again to consume this dashboard you basically need a power bi pro or power bi premium account for example for example to use this okay if there is someone if there is someone who, yes akash uh, do you have any questions sorry, sorry sorry it's okay akash so what i was actually saying is so if someone is not having any license just just a free power bi license okay he won't be able to consume this he won't be able to consume this on default i repeat again on default but there are also some settings which are actually available by doing it by doing it you can even um, share this dashboard outside your organization as well i repeat again outside your organization as well for example let's assume you have some uh, you know uh, stakeholders for whom you want to provide because uh, you know there there are also some uh, companies who meet the deadlines okay so they may even say that okay um, we have so and so so and so bottles which we are going to manufacture i am manufacturer and going to pro provide you uh, in so and so so and so specific time you can actually build the same dashboard the same and you can publish that sagne is your screen freeze my There's screen no got freeze no 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 my screen didn't get freezed see here okay it 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 is it is well and good okay so what i was actually say, what i was actually saying is um you know you can actually share this particular dashboard some to someone who is outside the organization okay you can share that particular thing but there is a security breach which basically mean okay uh, uh let's assume i'm just going to make this make i'm going to make this particular dashboard and going to make this dashboard public and going to make this dashboard public which basically mean anyone who is going to have this link anyone who is going to have this link even your competitors okay can actually come to know about the dashboards come to know about the you know what i can say ongoing as well okay so for that particular thing what you have to do is you have to go to the guest i repeat again you have to go to the guest you have to register a email id so for example someone like your stakeholders or something like that you have to register their name in the admin portal then you can provide the Uh, app access to that particular person, and along with that, you also need to shell out ten um, dollars for him as well. It is not going to be ten dollars. Being very frank with you, it is going to be ten dollars plus GST, which will be something like one thousand. Uh, you know, it will be near to one thousand, not exactly one thousand. Okay, it will be something like eight hundred or nine hundred rupees on an average. Okay, so below one thousand itself. Okay, so these are these are some kind of things that. that uh, you need to basically understand there are also some qr codes as well for example let's assume you are uh, using uh, this thing what i can say um, mobile uh, applications and all these things okay so when you have mobile application when you have mobile application you can just scan this particular qr code from your mobile and you can access this dashboard from the mobile okay so these kind of fluctuations or these kind of controls are being provided to you these kind of controls are being provided to you so these are some of the advanced features which are actually available with you for your benefit for your benefit hope you are clear on this particular part do you have any questions do you have any questions any questions guys any questions आकाश अनमोल अश्विनी राठौर नितिन प्रवीण राहुल रविंद्र संजय सुनीत विजय विवेक अमित 
I got only one response. How about others? How about others? How about others? Are you clear? Yes, yes, Rathod. Sangamesh. Yes. ये क्यू आर कोड स्कैन करके मोबाइल पे हर कोई रिपोर्ट चेक कर सकता है क्या हाँ मैं बोलता हूँ हाँ बट यहाँ पे टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन क्या है कि एटलीस्ट प्रो लाइसेंस तो होना जरूरी है सर प्रो लाइसेंस देखने वाले के पास भी होना जरूरी है जी सर बट देखिए मैं आपको पावर बी लाइसेंस के ऊपर जाऊंगा क्योंकि ये मैं नहीं कह रहा हूँ सर ये पावर बी बोल रहा है ओके पावर बी आई लाइसेंस लाइसेंसिंग ओके पावर बी आई लाइसेंसिंग देखिए मोबाइल एक्सेस प्रो प्रीमियम दिस थिंग हाँ जी जी प्रो प्रीमियम ये दोनों लोग फ्री वर्जन में ये मोबाइल के लिए फ्री प्रो वर्जन क्या नाम से एक्सेस ओके हाँ प्रो प्रो वर्जन एनीथिंग फ्रॉम हाईर देन प्रो वर्जन कैन एक्सेस एनीथिंग हाईर देन प्रो वर्जन सो ऑन मोबाइल वी नीड टू इंस्टॉल समथिंग फॉर एक्सेस दैट रिपोर्ट सॉरी सॉरी रोथोड आई एम नॉट एबल टू Sorry, 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 Rathod, I'm not able to hear you. Vijay, Vijay here. Yes, yes, Vijay. Ah, uh, Sangamesh, Sangamesh. Ah, uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear. Okay. So, ah, uh, if ah, uh, if ah, uh, HOD want to see the report on his mobile, then uh, he need to install ah uh, on his uh, mobile. Ah, uh, means power BI. Uh, yes sir uh, uh, sir uh, you know i just want to give you a small understanding here okay so there are also organizations what they tend to do is so they will take uh, you know one license like uh, um, i'm just giving you a small idea here i am a developer okay so let's assume vijay is a developer okay Let, let's vijay, let's let's assume vijay is a power bi developer okay so okay. what vijay is going to do is vijay can actually Uh, build dashboards using that Power BI license. Okay, I'm just giving you a small idea here. Okay, and you can actually share that particular credentials with the HOD or the manager. Okay, wherein he can actually use Power BI, uh, you know, uh, on his mobile, on his mobile using your credentials, using your credentials. These kind of hacks can be used. But if you say Uh, HOD want to log in from his own name. Yes, uh, you have to create one account for uh, you know what I can say your HOD or your manager. Then, adding to that, you also need to get one license dedicated for him. He will be only going to use that only to access the dashboard. I'm just giving you a small idea here. Okay, so. Uh... Uh, who one want to see uh, the report in mobile? Then he need uh, license. Yes, G sir, G sir. Unko license ki zarurat padega hi. Nahi to apko license share bhi kar sakte hai jaise. But I just want to warn you the guys. I mean, uh, you know, I I I assume that you know uh, this is a stand industrial standard practice. So I was also developing Tableau dashboards. So Tableau is very expensive. Tableau costs something like seventy five dollars for one license. okay so what we used to do is we used to build our dashboard okay and we used to share one license to 10 people i repeat again we used to use one license to 10 people okay so we used to do that particular thing okay so even in power bi also you can do that but there will be lot of uh, you know issues during the gateway refresh okay there is a, there is something called as tomorrow i will be speaking about this gateway refresh and all these things ओके सो वहां पे तो आपको थोड़ा दिक्कत हो सकता है जैसे कि डैशबोर्ड को रिफ्रेश करने में नहीं तो डैश डैशबोर्ड को पब्लिश तो कर सकते हैं मैनेज भी कर सकते हैं अगर यू नो माय लाइसेंस इज बीन यूज्ड बाय मी एज वेल एज माय वन ऑफ माय एम्प्लॉय कॉल्ड एज वरुण ओके सो वी कीप टेंडिंग हिम नॉर्मली आई टेंड टू यूज आई थिंक आई कैन एक्चुअली शो यू दैट एज वेल 
okay power app dot power bi dot com app dot power bi dot com okay i'm just going to say log in i'm just going to say log in so as soon as i do that see here as soon as i do that okay i have okay log in okay no 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 i will say log out to showcase this particular thing i will say sign out okay देखिए अगर मैं यहाँ पे साइन आउट करने के बाद देखिए यहाँ पे साइन आउट करने के बाद मेरा नाम भी आ रहा है उसके साथ साथ ओहो वरुण का नाम भी आ रहा था यहाँ पे अभी नहीं आ रहा है कोई दिक्कत नहीं है ओके सो यू विल गेट दीज ऑप्शंस आई कैन साइन इन फ्रॉम माय अकाउंट और आई कैन साइन इन फ्रॉम अ डिफरेंट अकाउंट ओके ऐसे चीजें कर सकते हैं बट टू बी ऑन अ सेफर साइड अगर आप लोकल डेटा रिफ्रेश लगा रहे हो तो इन दैट केस मैं आपको सीधा बोलता हूँ ना सर आपको एक डेडिकेटेड लाइसेंस रहना जरूरी है अगर दूसरा तीसरा ऐसा अकाउंट है जिसके साथ आप शेयर करना चाहते हो तो आप वैसा कर सकते हो छो, छोटे मोटे ऐसे हैक्स है आपके पास जिसको आप यूज कर सकते हैं यू नो फॉर योर बेनिफिट बट मेजरली ओके पावर बी आई इज एक्चुअली आस्किंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू वॉन्ट समन टू यूज सी हियर अगर यहाँ पे आप देखोगे तो यहाँ पे मेरा नाम है संगमेश के एस ओके okay, यहाँ पे वरुण का नाम है तो मैं वरुण के यहाँ पे भी अंदर लॉग इन हो सकता हूँ उसका पासवर्ड डाल के something like this and if i want to log in from my i can actually put my uh, this thing what i can say uh uh aisa mera username id mein dal sakta hu and main ye kar sakta hu main mujhe 1 minute dijiye mujhe ek sms aayega usko wahan pe dalna padega wahan pe jo code hai okay the code is 4090 Okay, that, that's great. One minute. There is a bit of audio disturbance from my end. I'm extremely sorry for that. So, what I was actually saying. Just give me one minute, guys. okay i think now this is a good time to speak okay so um <coughs> so these are some kind of things what most of the organizations are doing for a temporary basis this is not a permanent solution okay i will also discuss this particular part in tomorrow's session why i normally do not ask people to share their license to uh, you know others with others basically okay you can do that i mean you sharing the license can be do that until and unless it is been published and uh, there is the, there is a something called as gateway which will be running from your local system if it is going to run from your local system then obviously you will be facing one or the other kind of problem and adding to that if you are an admin i repeat again if you are an admin you must never i repeat again you must never share your credentials with everyone it is a a uh, big no i repeat again it's a big no if you are going to be an admin so i'm just giving you a small idea here as well so these are some kind of things that you can actually do right now i was speaking about something called as app and something called as update app okay so here just we clicked on this and we went for something called as applications and we were also able to access the dashboard from a different ui ux different ui ux means different user interface okay you have been able to access the dashboard so here you can actually pinpoint here you can actually saying pinpoint saying that i can actually remove certain dashboard for example you are you are building 10 dashboards out of those 10 dashboards you don't want uh, some of the dashboards or reports to be available for consumption available for consumptions so in that case you can actually 
say no and you can say update see here something like this something like this i'm just going to say something update that's it so now if i'm going to open the same link see here if i'm going to open the same link okay so what will actually happen what will actually happen is okay so you will be directly able to see this dashboard see here it's something like this so previously previously what happened previously you had this pinned dashboard so previously you had this pinned dashboard so this is called a spin dashboard okay so this is a kind of a kind of wrapper this is a kind of a wrapper which will which will as soon as you go into click on this there will be a small icon something like this okay this is called, this is called a spin dashboard okay so if you are going to click on this dashboard only the dashboard will open okay so you can actually pin something like three to four dashboard into one uh, uh, pinned dashboard okay so that is called as pinning that pinning is a different concept uh, which i don't want to discuss today okay so this is all about this is all about adding and removing dashboards for example if you want to uh, you know exclude some dashboard from production or something like that all these things are available are going to be available here adding to that whenever you are going to do any kind of changes in the uh, in the uh, in the development pipeline it can be also been seen here can you see that it can be also been seen here okay so right now i have this published okay right now i have this but i have not published this particular application okay you can actually see that particular thing see here this is not going to be published this is also going to be free i mean this is also going to be something different so बेसिक लेवल में यहाँ पे क्या है आपके पास तीन एप्लीकेशन हैं आपके पास एक डेवलपमेंट <coughs> मैं आपको बोलता हूँ मैं आप, आपके पास एक डेवलपमेंट वाला एप्लीकेशन बनाना पड़ेगा आपको टेस्टिंग वाला एक एप्लीकेशन बनाना है आपको बनाना पड़ेगा एक पब्लिश एप्लीकेशन दैट इज गोइंग टू बी फॉर प्रोडक्शन इन अ सिंपल वे यू हैव टू क्रिएट दीज थ्री यू नो एप्लीकेशन सो दिस इज मेजरली मेंट फॉर पीपल टू कंज्यूम द डैशबोर्ड एंड एडिंग टू दैट देर आर ऑल्सो सम सिक्योरिटी मेजर्स लाइक यू नो यू कैन एक्चुअली पुट सम सिक्योरिटी मेजर्स लाइक ही ही कैन नॉट डाउनलोड इट यू नो ही कैन नॉट एड कमेंट्स ही कैन नॉट एड फिल्टर्स ऑल दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स यहाँ पे ये जो डैशबोर्ड है जो डेवलपमेंट फेज में है यहाँ पे आप ऑन कर सकते हैं हाँ भाई मुझे अगर मेरा जो यूजर है वो अगर वो कमेंट करेगा मुझे चल जाएगा मुझे कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है यू कैन एक्चुअली एड दीज काइंड ऑफ यू कैन एक्चुअली एड दीज काइंड ऑफ सिक्योरिटी मेजर्स ओके हियर देर आर कमेंटिंग इज डन हियर द कमेंटिंग इज नॉट डन हियर यू कैन एक्चुअली यू नो से डिसेबल कॉमेंट्स और समथिंग लाइक यू कैन यू कैन डू दीज काइंड ऑफ वेरिएशन यू कैन डू दीज काइंड ऑफ वेरिएशन इन दीज वर्क स्पेसिस होप यू आर एबल टू गेट दिस क्लैरिटी okay clean and clear guys clean and clear i think i have one comment let me have a check rahul seated with ashwini okay that's absolutely fine thank you thank you ashwini so any questions guys any questions here any questions any questions no right that's that's okay so here if you see this in a very detailed aspect if you see this in a very detailed aspect so this this area i repeat again this area this area is completely blank okay which do not have any sign but if you see here if you see here there is a bijli sign in a simple way we can call this as a lightning sign can you see that okay so here it don't have that here it don't have it okay and there is a reason and there is a reason for the same okay whenever you have any dashboard which is been uh, you know available so you also get something called as um, you know deployment settings okay you you have something called as deployment settings so you can actually add some rules data rules like you know you can change the path okay you can change the data source okay and all these things the reason why this deployment setting is actually available i will just give you a small idea here okay so i am a guy i am a guy here in india and i work with various clients outside my organization i mean outside their organization okay for for example i am working for a telecom company i am working for one healthcare company 
and i am also working for one uh, cryptocurrency like it's, it's related to stock market so all these data okay are very confidential are very confidential so what they do what they do is they provide me something called as development data they provide me something called as development data by using this development data their organizational i repeat again their organizational data is never got is never getting leaked is never getting leaked okay so then what they are going to do is they are going to share me the development data i will create the dashboard using the development data using an excel file or using a sql server or you know <clears throat> using some or the other uh, conventional and non conventional uh, data source as soon as i'm done with the uh, you know what i can say you know database or data source i will publish this i will that i will publish that particular thing into this particular workspace and i as a power bi developer i have access to only manufacturing dashboard or the Uh, this particular dashboard which is basically the uh, this this particular dashboard that is development dashboard so when i am done with this i say okay i'm done with this uh, uh, you know what i can say dashboard preparation you are good to go then what he will do the manager of this uh, organization he will publish that particular dashboard into testing then he will consume that particular dashboard using this okay he will he will check okay how the data is how the this thing what i can say um dashboard is is there any kind of problem or something like that he will he will test he will check validate he will he will discuss with me with the dashboard and everything after that what he will do after that what he will do is he will he will come up with some feedbacks like you know you have to do these kind of changes and all so then i will be doing those changes in the uh, this manufacturing dashboard and here for this particular area i have only development data i can only see the development data i cannot access who is the uh, who is that particular guy who had made highest sales or who had that who is that particular guy who had done the lowest sales something like this i cannot identify or get the name of the person name of the person because all these data are been in a kind of encrypted kind of format okay so then what what we are going to as soon as the client is happy with the dashboard he will say okay we are done then whenever he is going to consume it whenever he is going to consume it he is going to put this kind of rule choosing the data source from where the data is going to get from this okay he will he will basically replace the data source he will basically replace the data source so due to which due to which for someone for someone who is um whom whom you will never share the data i repeat again by never sharing the data you are actually asking someone to build on the dashboard and work on it okay so this actually happens with uh, organizations as well like you know there is a developer who must not get any kind of data or who must not receive the entire amount of trucks of the data or something like that so in that case okay you can you can create these kind of things you can put these security layers and you can publish that particular thing here you are going to do the validation and all these things as soon as you are done with this particular thing when you everything is good then only you can actually publish this even see here even publishing here you also have this option to change the data source replace the data source see here replace the data source and everything and see here you are just going to do it only once i repeat again you just need to do it only once okay so as soon as you as soon as you do that particular as soon as you are going to fix this particular rule okay everything will be default as soon as uh, the developer is going to publish the dashboard you will get the intimation here where you are going to compare and when you are going to say uh, sync this these two uh, you know workspaces so there is no data source settings you have that you have to do again and again the dashboard will be updated you are just going to see the live dashboard okay the, with the actual data something like that okay i'm just giving you small ideas here what why this uh, development pipelines are actually being used in organizations and everything okay as soon uh, you know when you are done with these uh, when you are done with these two things you can even you can even change the data source for example you have development data you have something called as testing data you also have something called as production data as well which is the live data okay so there are also some legitimate reasons why they are actually providing or splitting the whole data into pieces okay like development data testing data and production data 
so whenever you have a larger amount of data when you have when you are dealing with warehouse and all these things okay um developing with a larger data can be difficult for example if you are having something like 1 tb of data using that as a direct query using that as a direct query if i'm getting that data into my power bi and if i'm start working on that my power bi will be very slow my power bi will be very slow so that is the reason there are multiple strategies which are been adopted by which are been adopted by uh, companies one of one of the thing is this development data testing data and production data this is one of the this is one of the strategy other strategy also are there which are like incremental refresh and all these things we are not going to discuss this incremental refresh um on all these things so this is this is these are some of the strategies which can actually help you to overcome if you are having a really enormous data and if power bi development is causing any kind of problem today you might be having data in excel format or something like that but i am i am going to be very sure on this after something like 10 10 years or 15 years you will be moving to database and data warehouse in that case sir uh, you know uh, these kind of strategies might be helpful for you okay i'm just giving you a small idea here okay hope you are clear on this particular part any questions here any questions here any questions here any questions by the way my audio is clear because there is a bit of construction which is just going on just beside me okay so there is little bit of hammering as well i'm extremely sorry for that my voice is clear am i am i crisp and clear just give me a confirmation in the chat even though that is fine because even till now there is a construction which is actually going on and there is lot of noise in spite i'm using a condenser mic okay oh there might be some audio disturbance i'm extremely sorry for that my audio is clear nitin namol vivek rathod yes sir clear clear thank you very much thank you very much for this uh, you know are you clear on this particular concepts why we are using deployment pipelines okay how we are using deployment yes. pipelines sanmes there are six seven people sitting in in one room me nitin okay. uh, rathod mm -hmm. vijay vijay akash mm -hmm. all these are sitting in one room so one response should be enough Okay, okay, that is fine. If even one of you can comment on that particular yeah. chat, it would be, you know, helpful for me. Okay, I I completely understand. I also respect uh, your presence. Thank you. Okay, so now you have understood something called as deployment pipelines and how to use these deployment pipelines for your organization. Okay, and adding to that, for adding to that, so you have also learned how these capacity is going to help in deployment as well. you also understood that okay number 3 the third part of this particular uh, you know conversation is on something called as data flows okay so um hope you remember guys hope you remember in my early days in my first module okay in my first module when i was discussing when i was discussing this power bi pro power bi premium i just hovered on something called as something called as data flow this particular thing at that point in time when i was discussing with you on uh, a power bi service this was not available if you even go to your recordings and have a check when i did that particular tutorial this data mart was not available at that point in time this data mart has been uh, you know added day before yesterday okay day before yesterday into power bi so there is lots of talks there is lots of uh, you know noise about this particular uh, what i can say data mart so i don't want to comment on this as of now but uh, you know this is one of the uh, you know what i can say uh, option which is actually involved to facilitate the refresh properly okay so getting the data configuring the data okay so this is this is a new thing which is under preview so you can actually go here into your workspace oh extremely sorry uh, you can go here into your workspace any workspace of yours okay so here in on top 
Okay, so you will be able to see this introducing data marts preview. Can you see that? Okay, even you can actually find a couple of YouTube videos. Power BI data marts. Okay, Power BI data marts. Oh, okay, yes, it's available here. Okay, which got uploaded uh, something like yesterday, day before yesterday, something like this, two days ago, one day ago. Okay. So these kind of things, this is a very new concept. Okay. You know, everyone are actually exploring it. Even I'm also exploring it. Okay. Uh, but something like within a uh, uh, couple of days or couple of years, okay. We may see this uh, as a kind of standalone as well. We don't know. It, it might be a kind of standalone. Okay. In coming days. Okay. So right now Power BI can be fetched from various source, whether you can, you have your SQL server, you can get your data from SQL server. You can get your data from Azure data lakes. You can, uh, you know, get data from even Azure data factory as well. Okay. Even it might be SSIS, SSRS. Okay. You, you know, Power BI has that capability to handle or fetch the data from all these stages. Okay. And build reports. Okay. So tomorrow, if you are uh, saying, Hey, Sangmesh, I just have my SSIS ready. I don't have my, you know, what I can say, SSRS and SSAS. Will I be able to build the dashboard and consume the dashboard? Yes, it is obviously possible. It is obviously possible. So, um, you can also build that lineage as well. So today you are using, uh, power BI SSIS and after something like two years or one year, you, are, you may have, uh, SSRS and SSES as well, something like this. Okay. So all these things, all these things are available with this Power BI. Okay. So here, when I speak about Power BI data flows, when I speak about Power BI data flows, Power BI data flows, when I discussed that, you know, in my first class, I told that you have to use Power BI data flows when you have a larger amount of data. When you have a larger amount of data, like when you have data, which is more than 10 GB, more than 50 GB, more than 100 GB. In that case, we can actually use something called as Power BI data source. Here, here, when I'm going to click on this new, okay, in, inside this workspace, any workspace, okay, any workspace, okay, okay, just give me a minute, any workspace, which is going to have diamond icon, please make sure, any workspace, which is going to have this diamond icon, okay. So here inside this, I have various option. And one of the option is this particular thing called as data flow. I can just click on this data flow. See here. Okay. I can say, yes, I want to create. Oh, now it is data mart. Huh? So previously it used to have a different, uh, this thing, what I can say UI UX. Okay. Um, so here it will, it will create something called as, um, a power BI, this thing. So hope you remember. When you used to open a power bi see something like this something like this a landing page used to something look look like this like you know you have excel you have data flow you have import data from sql something like this you also have this get data enter data as well hope you remember it is very very similar to the ui ux is very very similar to your oh my god huh? it is very very similar to your uh, this thing itself power bi itself so here what you are going to do is you are going to say get data the UI UX is going to be very, very similar. Okay. You are just going to say any one data source. Let me say, wait, uh, let me say Excel, Excel. Okay. Here I need to provide that data source. Okay. Here I need to provide the data source. Right now it is saying authenticate. I want to select it from my local server, my friend. Okay. I want to say upload, upload file. I want to upload some file, which is available in my system. I'm just going to say this. Guys, I'm just saying this, okay, because uh, I'm, this is a kind of demo what I'm actually doing. I don't have a data which is really enormous to work around and teach you. Okay, so I'm just going to use a small Excel file. Okay, I'm just going to say Power BI, Power BI Training 360 file. Okay, here I'm just going to find one of the Excel file, which I have. I'm just going to upload that particular Excel file, okay, into data source. Okay, and when it get loaded, I can click on next. See here, I can click on next. Okay. Uh, uh, invalid credentials, session so and so, region India. Okay. Gateway, none. I don't have any gateway. I have to sign in. Oh, extremely sorry. I haven't signed in. Okay. I need to also sign in. Yes, I want my, this is my so and so. 
I will sign in into this Power BI and then I'm just going to say next. So as soon as I've done that, okay, the UI UX is very, very similar to your regular Power BI. See here, row ID, so and so, so and so. If I'm going to say transform data, so it will take me to something called as, what is this? This is Power Query. This is the same Power Query which you used to see here, isn't it? Transform data. When you used to click transform data, when you used to click this transform data, it used to come here, agree? <clears throat> it used to come here, okay? The same kind of transform data is also available with you here, here. Now you can do various kind of things. Now you can do various kind of transformations like, I can I can remove this column see here ta -da. or else I want I can replace some city like uh, I have a, a Conrad some city here I'm just going to say um, my city name hospital H O S P E T hospital okay um, <coughs> something like this. You can even find this power query as well. Interesting, isn't it? I can find this power query as well. I can see this advanced editor, see here. I also have this script here as well. Can you see that? Can you see that? Okay. So now you are doing all the data preparation part. I repeat again, you're doing all the data preparation part using this power query inside. I repeat again, inside Power BI service called as Power BI data flows, okay? So see here, you also have an option called as diagram view as well. As soon as you click that, okay, here you will, here it will provide you the lineage, how the, what are the various ty types of transformations that you have done here and all these things, okay? So you can add another transformation, like, you know, you want, you can filter row or something like that. I'm, I'm just giving you a small idea here. What are the various types of transformation that you can do, okay? But here, but here, uh, Power BI data flow, I repeat again, Power BI data flow are a little bit different. Okay, the data types and data flow are a little bit different. So here I'm going to say save, see here. Here I'm going to say save. Okay, now validating mashup, ETL, querying, startup, and all these things. It is very, very similar. Like, you know, you used to refresh the data, right? The same kind of thing, ramping up things up here something like this <coughs> i have loaded my data here so i have my table here i can actually create measures and all these things i can create measures and all these things so if i'm done if i'm done see here if i'm done um or else i can i want to load another one data i'm just going to see that okay whether i will be able to load a csv file i'm just going to say upload i'm just going to say people table something like this and I'm going to say open. Okay, I'm just going to say sign in to authenticate that this is me. Okay, I'm just going to sign in from a different, uh, you know, what I can say, view, okay, I'm done. So I'm just going to say next. As soon as I do that, Okay, it will it will do that process of validating. So see here, I'm able to see that the columns are not exactly the same. Okay, I'm I can just say transform data and do the transformation of that. Okay, I oh transform data extremely sorry. Yes, uh, someone is having some question. I assume so. Amit Kumar, is it so? No, right? That's absolutely fine. So here, I also have an option to directly go to my workspace. Okay. So as soon as I go to my workspace, currently it used to be called as data flow, but unfortunately, currently it has been called as data mark. Okay. So, yes. Any, any question, Amit? Or Vivek?
Hi, Sangavish. Oh, extremely sorry, I was on mute. Okay, so what I was actually showing you is uh, <laughs> how to basically prepare uh, you know, the visualization from here. So here you have an option. Okay, so for example, if you have a larger data, like you have a 10 GB um, big data. Okay, so what you can do is if you are going to say download here, okay, if you are going to say save as and download this particular file. So what will actually happen here is, <coughs> What will actually happen here is that 10 GB file, I repeat again, that 10 GB file will be converted into something like 10, 10 MB or 20 MB kind of a very small data or even it might be something like uh, 300 or 400 or 75 MB or 200 MB, something like that based on the complexity of the data. I mean, the complexity of um, the, uh, you know, the data preparation part. Okay. So it can be downloaded and it can be consumed, consumed as well. Okay. So these kind of things are also possible using this data flows. And adding to that, adding to that, one of the best part, I repeat again, one of the best part why people who are very new to Power BI, okay, who are very new to Power BI, where is this Power BI? Power BI licensing, okay, Power BI licensing, okay why most of the people like to use Power BI data flows is because Power BI support something called as something called as direct query. Where is this Power BI data flows? Ah, here, direct query. So what is this direct query? Direct query means you can write a select command, SQL select command, like star, select star, okay, from XYZ table, or else you can do select, um, you know, column so and so, so and so from, um, you know, XYZ kind of table, SQL select commands. You can write the SQL command, select commands and import it into Power BI. If you are doing this, see here, if I'm going to see, uh, you know, I am just going to open one of a Power BI. Okay. If I'm going to say SQL server, okay. If I'm going to say SQL server here, I can basically, I can basically need to provide the SQL server name and the database if it is optional. Here I have my direct query option. Here I can write a SQL command like uh, um, select, select, um, select everything from, from XYZ table, table, something like this. I can write this and I can say load. Okay, so the data table will get loaded without any hassle. The data table will get loaded without any hassle, but but it won't be viewable here in this particular area and you cannot even edit it on Power Query as well. They, you cannot transform the data. You creating a measure from that direct query is hell. Okay, so that's the reason. That's the reason most of the newcomers tend to use this direct query because you can, you can work with these direct queries and do lots of data preparation part. Okay. So all these things can be quite clean and clear. So that is the reason most of the newbies tend to use this direct query in data flows, but I personally recommend, I personally recommend don't write SQL commands in Power BI. I personally recommend don't write SQL commands in Power BI. Okay. There are various reasons why I don't recommend to write a SQL command in Power BI. The Power BI is been meant to prepare your data in a power query okay and if you start using sql commands and all these things okay um, you know when you're doing the visualizations and all there are going to be lots of problems one of the problem there are many problems but i'm just going to highlight one of the problem one of the problem that you might be facing is the data type issue is the data type issue that's the reason uh, it's it's always recommended never to use a power query or a sql query okay inside a power bi okay Hope you are clear on this particular part. I hope, I assume that every single person here got to understand how to work with, um, you know, what I can say, these, uh, these kind of things, what I can say, uh, the <coughs> Power BI data flow part. Okay. Hope you are clear on this particular part. Let me see. Let me see. I have two comments here. Both are saying no, no, that's fine. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Vivek and uh, Rathor. Any questions, guys? Any questions?
any questions here guys any questions related to data flows any questions related to why we are using data flows any questions related to how we are using data flows any any such thing any such thing sanganesh yes hum data flow ko aise tree diagram ke zariye dekh sakte hai kya ji sir lineage ke upar aap chahoge na aapko dikh jayega sir main yahan pe ja raha tha main abhi jaunga ek minute okay तो अभी मैं क्या करूंगा अभी हमारा जो वर्कस्पेस है ना वर्कस्पेस के अंदर जाऊंगा मुझे पता नहीं मैं टेस्ट पे गया था कि मैं से सेव अरे नाम क्या है उसको मैं बोलूंगा टेस्ट वन से टेस्ट ट्रिपल वन आई मुझे पता नहीं है मैं क्या कर रहा था हाँ देखिए ये नहीं है मैं आई डोंट वांट टू गो हियर ओके हाँ मैं यहाँ पे था आई डोंट नो अरे मेरा Where is my workflow? Are <laughs> where is my workflow? Did I put it in? हाँ हाँ okay so ये production में था okay तो अभी मुझे इसका lineage देखना है मैं lineage देख सकता हूँ okay view lineage है यहाँ पे option मैं view lineage करूँगा ना तो मुझे यहाँ पे देखिए pipeline ये जो अब हम जो मैं कल में बात कर रहा था ना ये सारा का सारा चीज यहाँ पे आएगा देखिए ओके समझ में आ रहा है ना आपको तो देखिए ये ये जो डेटा है ना ये सारा का सारा ये सारे के सारे डेटा आ रहे थे खान के प्रोजेक्ट के लिए देखिए खान के प्रोजेक्ट के लिए ये सारे के सारे डेटा यूज किया जा रहा था तो यहाँ पे देखिए यहाँ पे सारा का सारा डेटा कलेक्ट हो रहा है देखिए यहाँ पे सारा का सारा डेटा कलेक्ट हो रहा है और यहाँ से यहाँ से ये डेटा फ्लो पे जा रहा है और ये डेटा सेट बन गया पे देखिए ये डेटा सेट बन गया ये डेटा मार्ट का लोगो है देखिए ये डेटा मार्ट का लोगो है ये डेटा सेट का लोगो है देखिए डेटा सेट का लोगो है ये देखिए यहाँ पे ऊपर यहाँ पे देखोगे इसको डेटा सेट बोला जाता है तो मैं आपको ये बता रहा था कि यहाँ से आप डेटा सेट को इंपोर्ट कर सकते हैं यहाँ पे देखिए यहाँ पे डेटा सेट से इंपोर्ट कर सकते हैं यही सेम डेटा सेट है यहाँ पे जो आप देख रहे हो यहाँ पे जो आप देख रहे हो यहाँ पे देखिए ये डेटा मार्ट थोड़ा अलग है सर मैं इसके ऊपर ज्यादा कॉमेंट नहीं कर सकता हूँ ओके बट टुमोरो और डे आफ्टर टुमोरो I will also get some clarity on data mart. Okay, maybe इसके ऊपर काम कर रहा हूँ. This is a very new concept, so that's the reason. Uh, by next week, I can provide you some update on data mart as well. Okay. और यहाँ पे जो SQL दिखाया है, SQL means क्या है? वो structure query language वाला जी सर जी सर जी सर जी सर आप सही बता रहे हो सर. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. जी जी. so these are some kind of things but previously previously you used to have uh, not data mart jab aap main pehle jab uh, data flows ko jab main create karta tha na okay tab mujhe data flows nazar aata tha which data flows i will just have a check whether because i have created couple of data flows mujhe pata nahi maine kahan pe dala hai but data flows used to have a different logo data flows used to have a different logo so this logo used to look something like this ye wala something like this okay so now things have been changed from last two days okay um we will we will try to understand this in a very detailed aspect right now we have this particular data mart okay the ui ux have also got changed okay we will understand it in a very detailed aspect going ahead okay so these are some of the things that are essential i repeat again these are some of the things that are essential to get started with power bi to get started with power bi okay so now what we will do is it's nearly uh, 330 okay it's nearly 330 we will take a 15 minutes of break we will take a 15 minutes of break and uh, we will uh, we will we have very few things that to cover okay after that we will start the uh, q and a session jaise ki main chup ho jaunga then you will start building the dashboards okay Clear and clear, guys. Clear and clear. Any questions here? Any questions?
Hello. Hi. Yeah, we all are here. Thank you, Thank you very much. Guys. Thank you very much. So, uh, so this is the progress as of now. Okay. So we started with Power BI. <clears throat> then we here we understood various. We are seeing on. We are seeing fifteen minutes time. Oh, extremely sorry. I think I have shared the wrong uh, this thing. Just a minute. Extremely sorry. Sorry. This is the proposal what we have actually shared. So here, what we have done is, uh, in, for our initial uh, conversation, we have basically spoke on to spoke about what are the various Power BI architecture. How is the Power BI architecture? How is the licensing part? Okay, in the first session. Then what we did, we understood how to transform the data, how to prepare the data for Power BI. Okay. Then we have also learned something called as another type of transformation, which is also called as DAX transformation, data analysis expression. We have understood that. Then we understood how, how to basically do the visualization in Power BI. Two two uh, classes on basically how to do the visualization. Then there was one session dedicated on R and Python integration. Basically, if you are going to have any uh, Python based script or an R based script near future. Okay. So how to integrate them into Power BI? We have also understood that particular part here. Then what we had is we also understood <coughs> yesterday's part, extremely sorry. This is yesterday's part. We have understood what is admin control, how to add and remove a specific person. We have also understood what is this work workspace deployment pipelines. We have also understood uh, how to manage uh, this, these dashboards, how to publish these dashboards and all these things we have understood yesterday. So today what we have done is today we are learning what is this majorly this data flows. Okay. Importing the data, basically how in on data flows and everything majorly on data flows, dedicatedly on data flows using the data flows and everything. So now as we are done with this data flows, there are certain not, I'm not, I, I basically must not call this as a kind of disadvantage, but there are certain limitations of data flows. <clears throat> limitations of data flows. So here, okay. So if you speak about this uh, data flows, uh, this thing, what I can say, general limitations, there are various, uh, you know, problems. Okay, not exactly a kind of problems, but uh, one of the majorly uh, big problem is that, okay, whenever you are actually going to use this data flows, you need to have the premium license only. So let's assume you are using a pro license. Let's assume you are using a pro license and you want to access data flows. You won't be able to do that. You won't be able to do that. Okay. And adding to that data flow is shareable capacity, which, which basically means you can actually add, uh, you know, auto ML cognitive services, computer engines and all these things. So these are some of the advantage. I mean, some of the things that, uh, that can be also added. Adding to that, there is also a concept called as incremental refresh. Okay. So uh, I don't know, right, right now, if we are going to discuss this, it could be a fruit, you know, fruitable session, but in a simple way, I'm just going to explain this incremental refresh in one sentence. Incremental refresh is a type of refresh. Incremental refresh is a type of refresh, wherein if you are actually ha having 10 GB of data and out of the 10 GB, there is only one MB of data, which is going to update in normal, regular refresh. What actually happens is it will refresh every single data. For example, if you have 10 GB, all the 10 GB will be again re uploaded into the power BI. So which, which basically what it will actually happen is which basically delay your data refresh time. So that is the reason why big organization, not small organization, big organizations always tend to complain that, Hey, my power BI data refresh is taking two hours. My power BI data refresh is taking something like three hours. So most of the big organization are crying because as they have a very larger data, refreshing that large data can be time consuming. 
to reduce this time they have a hack they have a hack called as incremental refresh okay by adopting incremental refresh this refresh time can be reduced for a very you know a kind of fraction kind of thing a, a bit of fraction kind of thing so these are some of the you know uh, cham things that are available with this data flow okay so yes uh, when we speak about data flow you know there are certain limitations with uh, adls okay and many people might be scratching their heads saying that what is this adls adls is nothing but azure data uh, lake storage it's a, it's it's actually azure data lake storage ha huh? storage okay so if you are actually speaking about the big data and the, uh, all just give me a bit let me see power bi power bi okay mm ha -hmm. this is the one so if we are speaking about uh, power bi consumption how power bi dashboards are going to be you know integrated and used so they are normally done like this okay so they are going to get the data from azure data lake storage from there they can actually put it to data factory you know put it to data bricks azure machine learning sql server or something like that or else you can even connect it to power bi as well okay so azure data lakes is that particular part this this particular part okay so in a simple way azure data lakes is a kind of container you can say okay it is a kind of container wherein you can fetch data from any uh, source kind of thing okay so something like this can actually have ha see here okay azure data lakes so you have various types of files cmd files and all these things you are just going to have this and put it into power query and get this data here into power bi something like this for this data lakes can be used but here by when you are using data lakes there are specific issues that is majorly related to the assignment okay only, only owners can change this particular path okay you cannot transfer the license and all these things so these kind of options are actually uh, hindering the this thing and uh, you know uh, data migration also can be a uh, little bit challenged when it come to tenant level tenant level means sharing level like i have the data warehouse and i want to share that data warehouse to you okay that can be a complicated thing okay um, so second is previous approach we, we same the same thing okay and adding to that also doesn't support most elements okay like uh, dictionaries file names and all these things okay so there are some in uh, you know data incapability kind of thing which is also been having error and along with that uh, data flow data types also there are also little, little bit of uh, this thing what i can say limitations but uh, inherently uh, most of the data which is available in power bi the same type of thing will be available here more or less but very small change like if there is any kind of currency or something like that that currency will be converted into decimal please make sure this okay it happened with me okay i used to get usd uh, columns and when i used to see it it used to be only decimal okay that dollar sign used to vanish off okay so those kind of small small uh, ha you know difficulties you might be getting okay so like if you have a integer 8 it will be converted to integer 64 something like this Th these are not Sangam, yes sir can we use uh, for currency float data type sorry float 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 uh, i don't Current. see float currency ke liye hum nahi use kar sakte kya float uh, see float will be converted into a text so let's assume aapke paas yahan pe string hai exactly float nahi use kar sakte hum log string data float, type log yahan pe float mein bhi to decimal aayega na sir a uh, float फ्लोट में डेसिमल आएगा में डेसिमल आएगा हाँ आएगा तो फ्लोट और डेसिमल शायद एक ही हो सकता है बट फ्लोट यहाँ पे कंपेटेबल नहीं है सर पावर बी में फ्लोट अगर आप लेते हो कोई डेटा तो वो कन्वर्ट हो जाता है डेसिमल नहीं तो स्ट्रिंग के लिए मतलब टेक्स्ट टेक्स्ट फॉर्मेट सिंपल बताना है तो ओके बट एज पर माई नॉलेज डेसीमल का जो मतलब कैरेक्टर लिमिटेशन है और फ्लोट का कैरेक्टर लिमिटेशन है फ्लोट फ्लोट का कैरेक्टर लिमिटेशन थोड़ा ज्यादा है तो फ्लोट वहां पे यूज कर पाएंगे ऐसा मुझे लगता है नहीं सर नहीं हो सकता है सर 
ओके तो इसीलिए तो यहाँ पे डेसिमल यूज किया गया है सर हाँ मैं मानता हूँ यू नो यू नो फ्लोट कैन टेक अ लार्जर सेट ऑफ वेरिएबल्स बट डेसिमल के नॉट बट दिस इज हाउ पावर वी आई सर ओके okay and if you feel that uh, you know you know we have to remove decimal and put float then you can actually suggest okay, there are you know power bi you know power bi is very serious on these kind of things okay i had suggested couple of uh, you know what i can say um, suggestions when i was in 2018 and 19 and most of them got applied okay so the suggestion what i gave is Uh, you know, way back in two thousand eighteen, I used to use Tableau, and I was very well versed with Tableau, and I was very happy with Tableau. Okay. Previously, you know, the suggestion what I gave is, okay. So this, this, you know, I cannot move the visuals like this. I, I can only, I can only uh, drag this visualization something like this. So this was the, this was a disadvantage which Power BI had in two thousand eighteen and nineteen. Okay, I is basically suggested Power BI. Why we are actually having this? Why, you know, when we speak about Tableau and all, it was very sleek at that point in time. Okay, this was the first suggestion what I gave, and second suggestion was, you know, in Power BI, uh, you know, in Tableau, we used to drag this and drop this like this. Okay, you can actually drag and drop certain features. Okay, like this, but previously this feature was not available in Power BI. Way back before, or on an average around uh, something like two thousand eighteen and nineteen, it was not available. Then mid twenty 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 one, these these features were been added. Okay, so I'm just giving you some small uh, understanding here. Okay, Power BI is very much this thing. There is something called as help here. Okay, so you have something called as community. You can basically uh, go here and start a discussion, or else you can even submit an idea. Rathod, this can be okay. a good, a good uh, this thing as well. I mean, because हम लोग सभी सभी लोग पैसा दे रहे हैं and uh, uh, you know it is it is our right to ask or demand a good software. Okay. 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 And Power BI don't ever underestimate power. You know Power BI team. Okay, they are very much serious. Okay, on your suggestions. Okay. 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 uh can you explain in detail more about sql sql mm, akash that's that's a good thing see when we speak about sql sql is just a language it's a scripting tool like sql language okay sql is just a language see which 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 basically help us to interact with the database and data warehouse okay so there are various types of uh, sql like uh, there is something called as dql i think uh, sorry ddl dml dcl and D, you know tcl which basically related to uh, creating a specific uh, this thing what i can say tables and altering the tables inserting specific uh, things dml okay invoke or grant some access or else you know commit and all these things so there is also something called as uh, this thing what i can say uh dql a data query language if i am not wrong okay out of all these things where you you can also querying you can write some spelling select commands basically okay ha see here dql ha here like this ha here okay so these are some of the options which you have but when i speak about sql server okay so we have power bi has something called as msbi now msbi is in legacy system okay so there was something called as see here there was something called as ssis ssi ssr as and ssrs which was which which was previously now right now what is actually happening is right now power bi is uh, you know uh, what i can say um, altering this into something called as cloud based systems so we have something called as azure data factory azure data factory okay so wherein wherein all this data preparation like if you have a on premises uh, platform or else if you have a external data you can actually bring these data into this cloud storage sorry i think there was some question i assume so no right okay so those external data you can actually uh, you know uh, 
load that into something called as data factory you can run this analysis services analysis services this sses part what i was actually speaking about okay and you can actually put it into last but not the least you can put it into power bi this is how ideally power bi works in a big data environment like uh, if you have a larger database database and data warehouse okay these kind of things are going to be used mm -hmm. this is this this is not for databases it is used for data warehouse warehouse means something really big okay database means it's uh, it's very small okay something like this in a very simple way okay what are the things that are being done in data uh, you know azure data factory like csv file you can link this csv file okay and to copy those data create some tables okay and put it into uh, you know sql server okay in sql server you will be having this data types like fact and dimension tables all these things actually happen in this azure uh, this thing pipeline basically okay in a simple way i'm just giving you a small idea here okay hope you are clear on this particular part adding to that there is also something called as azure data you know azure data lakes okay so what really happens in azure data lakes is see it this is again uh, the thing so you have data you have data factory where you are going to load all these things here what will actually happen is here there will be azure data lakes which will basically collect the data from azure data factory store it okay analyze it okay if you have some requirement or something like that after doing that it you can directly connect it to cosmo db or azure data warehouse and analysis services at power bi so even this is also another type of architecture which is also available i'm just giving you a small idea here okay how things actually work in real life okay so these are all these are all some tools and techniques which requires sql okay so if you are uh, you know building any uh, you know what i can say <coughs> uh, ssis package there you need something called as uh, uh, what, what i can say store procedures that you have to write and most of these store procedures are normally written in sql itself sql query itself okay so that is how things actually work uh, akash hope you are clear on this particular part i mean i think i have answered your question yes clear uh, uh, yes uh, vijay you have some question you can share your screen i will stop sharing my screen okay just give me one minute okay uh yes which you can sh uh, share your screen sangamesh sangamesh yes. uh, this uh, azure and this sql do we need to uh, have this uh, software or system in our plant or it's something uh, we can share on share sharepoint or something see <laughs> um, see azure and all it's very expensive my friends okay and uh, um, these comes in two two ways one is called as azure uh, this thing what again is on ssms which can be installed in your system and you can actually manage those things only from your system okay and this is this can be done on your on premises okay that is in your in your uh, hard drive or in your local uh, systems or something in your using your lan cables or something like that okay second type of option which is also available is actually called as azure uh, uh, you know data factory and data warehouse they are expensive sir and they are not really expensive uh, you know they use something called as pay as you go how much of their system that you are going to use that much you are going to be billable that much you will be built in a simple way built okay um, those are chargeable okay and in a simple way uh, if you are uh, running your uh, sql server or something like that on a daily basis or something like that on an average you will get uh, an billing of something like 18000 to something like 80000 it may vary based on the consumption and the date you know the data size and everything i'm just giving you a small idea so there are those are paid okay so for azure cloud you don't require any kind of system only you need subscription okay extremely sorry extremely sorry vijay okay i'm just going to provide you the access and uh, yes. sql is the part of azure or it is different yes sir you are absolutely right azure is a part. azure is a really big thing okay 
So Azure has various things, sir. Azure has something like data lakes, data warehouse, data, um, you know, uh, so you have uh, something called as uh, Azure big data as well, like Azure HDFS, it's called as Azure data, Hadoop data, um, you know, frame uh, as well. So, you know, I'm not the right candidate to speak about because I'm majorly into analytics. Okay, I'm an analytical guy. Okay, you, you know, a better data engineer can actually answer these questions in a better way. But oh, we are, as we SQL is uh, one of the small part of Azure. Right? You're absolutely right. Yes, you're absolutely right. Azure can handle SQL Server. Azure can handle unstructured data because Azure has something called as blob storage. In blob storage, you can put unstructured data. Even you can put MP3 audio as well. You can put some images, photos as well in blob storage. You, you can put even uh, this thing, what I can say, CSV file, Excel file, and all these things. Okay. I'm just giving you a small idea. One more, one more question. Sure, sir. If if I have the data uh, which which uh, I have on my uh, in the plant for in the various uh, network, okay, mm -hmm. that I can display in this Power BI. Special character. If if I want to connect with another plants, mm -hmm. okay, so that time I need this share uh, points, right? As you were and all. See, I I will just give you a small idea, sir. Okay, what is meant as a share share point? SharePoint is one such area where you can actually put your internal files. Okay, like, um, you know, it might be coming from one plant or multiple plants. It doesn't care. Okay, until and unless you have the access to the SharePoint, yes, sir, you can use it and you can also build Power BI dashboards. And even if you, if you want, I can also, uh, you know, help you connecting your SharePoint uh, to Power BI as well. So there are also some uh, options which are also available wherein we can also discuss and we can also help you how to basically configure. For example, if you have something like 10 files in uh, your SharePoint, how to connect those SharePoints, how to manage those, how to get your data refresh uh, thing uh, going to go ahead. So if you want those things, we can actually have that consultation after completing this session. Okay. Okay. And uh, for the SQL, uh, when is the requirement of SQL? If we have the too much big data or from various much many sources then only we need the sql or uh, is there any specific requirement how do you uh, i will answer this question okay i will answer this question see here see until and unless okay uh, power bi is running smooth i repeat again until and unless power bi is running smooth without any hassle there is no requirement for sql if the data size is big I repeat again, if the data size is big, for example, if the data size is something like uh, uh, 1 GB, 2 GB, 3 GB, and uh, you are finding really hell amount of difficulty, okay, refreshing the data and all these things. Yes, sir, in that case, you need, um, you know, this this kind of thing. So in SQL Server, what will actually happen? So in SQL Server, your flat files, okay, your CSV files or Excel files, these files will be converted into a a database like uh, you know there you you will be having uh, you know what i can say um, something called as fact and dimension tables so if when you convert all the data into fact and dimension tables so the querying can be really fast like for example if, if you are running your uh, if you are doing any calculation on excel file it can take something like 5 seconds Okay, but the same data when you put it on a SQL server, when you divide everything into a star schema or a snowflake schema, so it, it will take hardly one second or hardly fraction of a second to basically, um, you know, prepare that particular thing. I mean, uh, prepare the data and provide you the updates. I mean, I'm giving you a raw idea here. Okay. So similarly, if you also have some analytical tools or analysis that need to run, there are also something called as SSAS, which is called as SQL Server Analysis Studio. Okay, so which also comes under SQL Server itself, SQL Server, you know, uh, you know, uh, and data uh, SQL warehouse as well. So wherein you can basically create something called as cubes and put aggregated measures, columns, and all these things. Okay. And adding to that, you can also use it on report servers as well, like using report servers and using magnetic services and all. You can also do that. I say 
never ever invest on sql server until and unless you are facing difficulty in uh, you know in power bi on an average okay when your data is huge when you have at least 2 to 3 gb of data at least 2 to 3 gb of data then you can think about database wahan pe aap jab database ke bare mein sochiye then when you feel that database is also very big for me then think about data warehouse don't directly jump into data warehouse okay so first flat files from flat files to database after database you go to data warehouse okay after data warehouse you go to uh, cloud data warehouse so this is the type of lineage that you have to follow i think i have answered your question isn't it okay no worries i'm ready to help you out yes uh, yes vijay i am able to see your screen uh, you are feeling difficulty in splitting the column right yes yes uh so shift date okay. you can yeah, there is a different type of uh, character means for first two there is a date split in backslash and uh, below that there is a different format okay just give me one minute hello shift date column yeah okay Mm -hmm. so format is it different then uh, can we split it is uh, using the different uh, special character uh see yes we can do that okay see uh, vijay what we can actually do is so here uh annotate here you have something called a split column first you have to select the column which you want to split which you want to split so after selecting this so yes by delimiter is you are absolutely right delimiter okay just hold on for a while has just hold on for a while because i want to explain this so if you see this there is a delimiter here okay if you are able to see this here if you are able to see this okay so here there is an icon okay the same icon is also available here can you see that so first we have to always make sure first we have to always make sure okay whenever you are doing a split these two icons need to match for example for example here see here can you see that can you see that here okay here there is a different format see here there is a different format agree with me okay so what you have to do is you have to split your column in such a way that okay they are well versed i mean uh, they are been correct okay so what i'm going to do is what i'm going to do is let's say this particular part itself let it let let this be the default now you just click on columns now you just click on columns oh, sorry extremely sorry okay extremely sorry okay i'm extremely sorry <clears throat> so if you see if you see if you see now you have now you have actually split the data okay ha see here now you have split the data okay one is in this particular format okay which had this iphone symbol and second you had you had the data which 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 was actually having a slash which was having the slash can you click on this particular thing sir can you click on this particular thing ha no 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 here into mark sir into mark cross ah into mark okay uh so you you also need to click on the split which is right here okay so if you see this data if you see this data so the data is in different format okay the data is in different format one it is having a slash one it is having i fun okay so power bi can actually uh have data set in one format and you can do the transformation only for one format so what you can actually do is you can go to source you can go to source okay and try to understand which which is the type of data which is the type of data whether it is a excel data in excel itself we can actually uh, do a replace okay whenever wherever there is there is a slash convert it into an iphone or whenever there is an iphone convert it into a slash something like this vice versa but what we are actually aiming here i repeat again what we are actually aiming here is there need to be a standardization in the column i repeat again there need to be a standardization in the column 
okay hope you are clear on this particular part vijay sir okay, so it, it means uh, the whatever the uh, input data or resource we are using that uh, in that resource data we need to correct first yes 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 so there Because is no we... option in uh, here power bi query mm -hmm. to uh, identify or separate that uh, using different uh, characters means uh, backslash or dash yes uh, you are absolutely right so <clears throat> you can actually do it but it can be very tedious for power bi so your query will be slow and all these things so that's the reason see from day one i have been saying okay keep your data processing the most minimal possible jitna kam ho sakta hai data preparation ko kam kijiye aap जितना कम डेटा प्रिपेयर होता है जितना क्लीन डेटा रहता है उतना आपका परफॉर्मेंस अच्छा रहता है ओके सो दैट्स द रीजन कीप योर डेटा प्रोसेसिंग स्लीक एंड सिंपल एज पॉसिबल ओके डू लिटिल बिट ऑफ डेटा प्रिपरेशन लाइक यू नो चेंजिंग कॉलम्स एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो ओनली डू ओनली दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स डोंट ओवर कॉम्प्लिकेट द पॉवर क्वेरी okay if you over complicate the power query what will actually happen your query will be slow when your query is slow your dashboard refresh will also get slower your uh, you know your interactivity also get affected so these kind of these kind of problems that you may face i'm just giving a small idea here okay okay, okay. sir actually yahan pe agar do format dikh rahe hai two formats se date ke to yahan pe error dikhana chahiye tha na koi नहीं यहाँ पे क्या हुआ है आप, आप आपका बहुत बढ़िया सवाल है आई आई रियली अप्रिशिएट योर क्वेश्चन ओके सो यहाँ पे क्या हुआ है कि दिस हैज टेकन इनटू समथिंग कॉल्ड एज एबीसी दैट इज टेक्स्ट है तो ये सारा का सारा जो भी दिख रहा है ना यहाँ पे ये टेक्स्ट पे लिया गया है ओके okay? सो so अगर ये डेट uh, के हिसाब से लेता अगर आप थोड़ा थोड़ा हम लोग दिमाग इस्तेमाल करके ओवर स्मार्ट बन के अगर ये जो टेक्स्ट यहाँ पे है ना इसको टेक्स्ट को निकाल के आप डेट कर दीजिए आपको एरर मारेगा कीजिए आप मेरे सामने कीजिए मैं आपके साथ हूँ जी देखिए वहां पे मारा ना <laughs> जी 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 ओके okay, समझ में आया ना आपको मैं क्या बता रहा हूँ देखिए ओके थैंक यू ओके सो सो दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स सो वॉट इज एक्चुअली हैपनिंग हियर दीज आर द डेट टाइप्स नाउ these are the date types now and these are the non date types so that is the reason um, always make sure always make sure you are providing a standardized data into power bi aur uske liye bahut sare log kya karte hai hum log normally flat files ko zyada prefer karte hai not than rather than excel files we normally use flat files like csv files okay because csv files do not have these data complications a lot okay i'm just giving you a small idea here okay uh vijay uh, I, vijay sir i think i have answered your question isn't it yes yes okay that's absolutely fine okay so let me share my screen i think we are done for this particular day okay i think i have couple of questions in chat let me have a check okay thanks 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 okay uh host receiver participants please allow okay that's absolutely fine okay yes 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 thank you very much <clears throat> okay so here <coughs> for today's session uh document docs word box okay so there are certain uh, questions that i want to ask before going ahead for uh the task for today so how many of you have power bi premium how many of you have power bi premium at least one license is fine so that everyone can share and everyone can see if you don't have power bi license no worries i can provide my power bi license for a no, no one no one no one is having okay 
so if you want i can share my power bi license for couple of minutes okay so i'm just going to provide uh, um uh, this thing power bi license so there will be a optp request that will be coming to you so i am extremely sorry uh, you know only one can use this <clears throat> only one can use this i will also provide you the uh, this thing as well what i can say um <coughs> password as well Mm -hmm. this can be quite complicated so let me do something like this i will create another user okay mobile sir gorun six to Six two seven four double three. Okay. I will say yes. So I hope everyone is able to see my screen, isn't it? So I'm just going to create a license. Okay. Uh. okay i'm just going to call i'm just going to create a user active user okay uh okay i'm just going to create one user called uh, what do i need to call test test okay display name as test okay no no test test oh test is fine okay username test okay so this is fine and uh, i will say automatically create a password okay so i'm just going to provide a uh, no no i will provide a free version i will provide a free version okay i will say okay that is fine okay i will finish now okay this is fine and the password is this mm. this is the password i'm just going to provide the password now this is the password and this is the username this is the username i hope everyone is able to see that any one out of you you can choose any one volunteer out in your uh, this thing i know everyone are sitting just beside you okay so uh, you can basically one out of it take a volunteer and log in to that particular thing okay if you are able to log in successfully then i will provide you the this thing what i can say uh, power bi license okay right now i am using the power bi premium okay i'm just going to take the license i'm going to say i want to use power bi free version and so i don't want to use power bi premium i'm just going to say save then i'm going to transfer this license to to this particular person that is test okay 
so power bi no premium okay so i don't want to provide you microsoft teams as well save changes पासवर्ड चेंज करो न्यू ना जी ना जी पासवर्ड चेंज करने की जरूरत नहीं है इसको मैं डिलीट भी कर देता हूँ मतलब पांच या दस मिनट के बाद बट यहाँ पे अपडेट ही और पासवर्ड बोल रहा है अच्छा तो कर दीजिए कोई दिक्कत नहीं है मैं यहाँ से डिलीट भी कर सकता हूँ बाद में पासवर्ड आपको याद रहना चाहिए बस वो देख लीजिए Are you able to log in? Wait, wait. If you are able to share your screen, that is. के मोबाइल से ठीक नहीं हो रहा है सर
लॉगिन आई डी आपका मेल आई डी पासवर्ड डी कैपिटल डिजिट संगमेश You are muted. You are speaker. I'm extremely sorry. I was on mute. I'm extremely. Again, you are you are muted. I don't know why it is happening. Okay, I'm just going to say Power BI uh, sign in. Okay, can you type Power BI sign in? Okay, S I G N I N. Okay, Power BI sign in. Okay, so this is the this is the uh, this thing. What I can say? Location. Okay, that's apps. dot Power BI. dot com. So right now, okay, that is the one. Okay. I'm going to say next. I want to use this different authenticator app. Oh, no, no, it is actually asking to um, to use a different authenticator app. Okay, set up. Okay, so it is actually asking your mobile number. Mm -hmm. Okay, back. Okay, it's 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 actually asking for a authenticator. Mm -hmm. Do you have a any if anyone is having any authenticator? Which kind of what authenticator? Uh, so in Play Store, uh, in Play Store there is there is an application called as uh, uh, authenticator app. Okay, so I mm -hmm. I hardly need to. Uh, so which looks something like this. Yes, I will just show my video. So, which looks something like this. Okay. So, did anyone uh, of you have? So, can can I stop my share uh, screen share? Uh, yes, you can. Yes, you can stop share your screen share. If you have, if any one of you have that authenticator app, okay, it it is uh, something like forty MB. You can just scan this particular there. Okay. So just give me a minute. Let me do that for you. No, 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 no. You don't, don't do that. Let me, let me say authenticator add personal scan QR code. Can you show me that uh, this thing? What I can say? Uh, uh, this thing. I will authenticate from my mobile. Rathod, you can share your screen. Great. Yes. Yes. Yep, I'm able to do that. Yes, I'm able to do that. Next. 
Almost four, yeah. Yes, approve. I did approve it. Yes, you are about to go going to sign in. You are going to sign in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, approved. Next. Done. Done. I've done thank you. Oh yeah. Okay. Voila, wonderful. So can you have a check which type of license you have? Yes, yes. Premium per user. refresh refresh Okay. Um premium okay so you have the premium license so you can create a workspace a big workspace is start kijiye. you can create a workspace Ji. you can create a workspace okay you can name it anything okay that's wonderful okay So right now you have this workspace with you, okay? So here, uh, if you go, if you are going to click on new, if you are going to click on new, see here. So you have that options, various options, <coughs> data flows and everything. Yes. Okay. So can we click on data flow? Okay. Yes, I want to use data mart. You do all the data loading and everything on your own. Data flow. Okay, now. So now get get load the data prepare some uh, do some data preparation okay, like add a column remove a column or else to create a calculated aggregated column or something like that load any data which is excel data csv data something like that can i upload existing file uh, yes, sir, you can do that. Like, uh, you know, existing file as in. You can say database folder. You want to use a folder. Achha. There is no option to select internal file. Internal file, achha, achha, achha. Which, which specific format the internal file is? Hmm? Type of the file, sir. Is it CSV, Excel? Excel. Ah, Excel. So, uh, upload. upload. Yeah. 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 Drag and drop करना है, select करना है। That's a. <coughs> so you have to just select. You have to say you, select browse. Browse की चीज़। यहाँ पे यहाँ पे देखिए सर error आ रहा है। Your account does not have a license for SharePoint yeah. online कोई दिकर, or Android। कोई दिक्कत नहीं। कोई दिक्कत नहीं। आप browse कीजिए। आप browse कीजिए। जी। 
अच्छा ब्राउज करने के बाद उसको वहां पे क्लिक कीजिए और ओपन कीजिए क्लिक कीजिए और ओपन कीजिए बस हो गया देखिए नहीं ओपन नहीं हो रही ना ऑलमोस्ट हो जाएगा एक मिनट अकाउंट डज नॉट है लाइसेंस फॉर शेयर और ड्राइव फॉर बिजनेस अच्छा 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 हाँ मैंने आपको वर्ड पैक नहीं दिया है एक मिनट मैं आपको वो दे देता हूँ so just give me one minute i will also provide you the access as well mm. uh license user active users active users ke andar mere paas test hai test ko main bolunga manage license manage license okay manage license ke andar main aapko microsoft teams bhi de raha hu aur uske sath bhi de raha hu so you can try it now i mean you you just need to refresh once you have to refresh once then you will be able to do that refresh ek bar refresh kar dijiye bas cancel karke ek bar refresh kar dijiye sir okay that's wonderful ha get data and everything <coughs> uh refresh your account does not have license you have the license same message yahan pe show kar raha hai aap thoda sa screen share access dijiye hum bhi dekh lete hain is par iska kya hai wo file kahan pe hai wo file desktop pe desktop pe hai mere desktop pe dikha dijiye wo kahan pe hai desktop pe power bi ka folder hai usme ji ji ek minute मैं क्लिक कर रहा हूँ ये ओपन नहीं हो रहा है आप एक बार देख लीजिए कहाँ पे है गेटवे इज नो ऑथेंटिकेशन इज ऑन अनाउनमस दैट्स फाइन कंट्रोल आई एम नॉट एबल टू कंट्रोल योर स्क्रीन कैन यू कैन यू क्लिक ऑन ब्राउज आप देख पा रहे हो सर मेरी स्क्रीन जी 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 देख पा रहा हूँ शायद योर अकाउंट डज नॉट है लाइसेंस फॉर शेयर पॉइंट अच्छा अच्छा एक मिनट आपके सिस्टम में शेयर पॉइंट है क्या वन ड्राइव है ना सर हाँ वन ड्राइव आपके कंपनी का हो सकता है ये तो इसीलिए थोड़ा दिक्कत करा इसीलिए थोड़ा सा दिक्कत करा यहाँ पे ये दिक्कत करेगा ओके okay, आप कोई आपका कोई ड्राइव है जैसे कि डी ड्राइव नहीं तो सी ड्राइव यूज मत कीजिए क्योंकि सी ड्राइव में जो भी रहता है वो कॉपी होता है कोई और दूसरा वाला ड्राइव है क्या आपके पास एफ ड्राइव एच ड्राइव जी ड्राइव यस यस है ना ई ड्राइव है ई ड्राइव है तो आप ऐसा कर दीजिए उसको ई ड्राइव में डाल दीजिए और इसको आप ई ड्राइव से उठाने के लिए ट्राई कीजिए क्योंकि हाँ ट्राई कीजिए आप एक बार फिर भी नहीं हो रहा है इसके नहीं तो ऐसा तो होना ही नहीं चाहिए इसको पूरा क्लोज ही कर दीजिए इसको भी क्लोज कर दीजिए 
करके पूरा ये क्लोज कर देते हो होम होम पे जाइए फिर से होम पे जाइए स्क्रीन ऑफ हो गया एक मिनट कोई दिक्कत नहीं है कोई भी वर्क स्पेस चूज कीजिए कैन पैन दिस अ प्रीमियम वर्क स्पेस गुड आपका है वहां पे Click on Excel. Beautiful. Um, say upload files. Again, आपको वही आ रहा है. Your account does not have a license for it. Say me. एक बार एक बार एक बार एक बार try कीजिए. नहीं तो हमारे पास online options भी है. मैं आपको online भी ले देता हूँ. Okay, load करने के लिए. नहीं हुआ? देखिए एक बार. जी नहीं. नहीं हुआ तो कोई कोई दिक्कत नहीं है. मैं आपको और एक दे देता हूँ. मेरे पास एक चीज है जिसका नाम है GitHub. ओके okay. okay. और गिटहब में कैसा है कि मेरा एक सीएसवी फाइल वहां पे पड़ा हुआ है ओके okay? okay. तो मैं उसका लिंक भेज देता हूँ okay? एक मिनट लाइन पर रहिए आप मतलब यहीं पर रहिए मैं आपको पिंक कर दूंगा ये जो गिटहब का जो ये है संगमेश गिटहब और सो आई हैव एच आर एट्रेशन डेटा एच आर एट्रेशन एनालिसिस एच आर एट्रेशन एनालिसिस में डेटा है डेटा के अंदर ओके यस आई हैव दिस ओके दो साल पुराना डेटा यार दिस वन सो आप क्या कीजिए सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू पिंक यू दिस थिंग बड़ा कैन से फाइल पास so you have something called as link to file can you see that just upload ke bagal mein left side pe click karu kya is pe direct link na 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 isko usko aapko sirf copy karna hai copy karke wahan pe link to file hai na usme wahan pe paste karna hai isko okay ji ha ha ji aur wo maine aapko jo link bheja hai na usko pehle kholi aap kahin pe browser pe kholi aap usko aur usko wahan se copy kijiye ji उसको एक बार खोलिए जी हाँ इसको ओपन करेंगे ना तो ऐसा आएगा इसको पूरा कॉपी कर दीजिए कंट्रोल वो जो हाँ पात है पूरा कॉपी कर दीजिए बढ़िया और इसको है ना इसको हम लोग हाँ वहां पर पेस्ट कर दीजिए जी बढ़िया अभी नेक्स्ट कीजिए वहां पे नेक्स्ट जी वो अभी ये जो एक्सेल फाइल है एक्सट्रीमली सॉरी एक्सेल फाइल है आप इसको बैक कीजिए बिकॉज दिस इज सी एस वी फाइल एक्सट्रीमली सॉरी आप वहां का एक्सटेंशन देखोगे तो ये सी एस वी है तो टेक्स्ट क्लिक कीजिए एक्सेल के बदले टेक्स्ट हाँ टेक्स्ट सी एस वी अभी वो लिंक जो है वहां पे पेस्ट कीजिए हम एक्सट्रीमली सॉरी ओके और उसको नेक्स्ट कीजिए वहां पे ओके बढ़िया देखिए यहाँ पे ये डेटा है ओके okay? आप ट्रांसफॉर्म कीजिए इसको ट्रांसफॉर्म कीजिए
सो यू हैव इट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू एनी काइंड ऑफ चेंजेस आप यहाँ पे चेंज कर सकते हैं इट्स वेरी वेरी सिमिलर टू पावर क्वेरी अगर आपने पावर क्वेरी यूज किया है तो सेम ऑप्शन यहाँ पे मिलेंगे ओके okay. यहाँ पे हम डैक्स भी यूज कर सकते हैं डैक्स यूज कर सकते हैं मगर वो इसमें नहीं हो सकता है सर पावर क्वेरी में नहीं होता है वो ओके 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 अभी इसको आप सेव कीजिए वहां पे कहीं पे सेव कीजिए देखिए अभी आपको एक फॉर्म का आएगा ये हो गया यस 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 गो टू वर्क स्पेस कीजिए गो टू वर्क स्पेस नीचे नीचे हाँ जी क्लिक कीजिए आप जी सो नाउ यू आर इन साइड दिस वर्क स्पेस ये जो वर्क स्पेस है इसको आप डेटा को इसके करने के लिए यूज कर सकते हैं विजुअलाइजेशन करने के लिए यूज कर सकते हैं नहीं तो आप देर इज ऑल्सो एन ऑप्शन फॉर एस क्रिएट पाइपलाइन कैन यू सी दैट क्रिएट पाइपलाइन ऑन द टॉप ये यहाँ पे आपका पे जो यहाँ पे जो ये है डेटा सेट तो ये डेटा सेट की फाइल हम ओपन कर सकते हैं क्या सर uh, यहाँ पे आप लीनियज देख सकते हैं देखिए ये जो डेटा था वो सिक्स फोर फोर्टी को ये हुआ था लोड हुआ था इसको देर इज थ्री डॉट्स यहाँ पे मैं आपको मैं आपको नॉट एनोटेट कर रहा हूँ यहाँ पे हाँ जो थ्री डॉट्स है उसको थ्री डॉट्स पे एक बार क्लिक कीजिए क्लिक कीजिए और व्यू लीनियज क्लिक कीजिए बढ़िया क्लिक कीजिए बिना कोई झिझक पे हाँ देखिए सो वॉट इज एक्चुअली हैपनिंग तो यहाँ पे आपके पास कोई डेटा ही नहीं है देर इज नो डेटा सोर्स कैन यू सी दैट कोई डेटा सोर्स ही नहीं है ओके तो वो आपको यहाँ पे क्लिक कीजिए आप एक बार यहाँ पे यहाँ पे क्लिक कीजिए ओके तो आपको यहाँ पे क्या दिख रहा है आपको दिख रहा है कि यहाँ पे मेरा कोई डेटा सोर्स ही नहीं है सिर्फ एक डेटा मार्ट बनाया हुआ है बस ओके ओके आपको दिख रहा है क्या यहाँ पे देखिए ये डेटा सेट है ये डेटा मार्ट है ओके यहाँ पे कुछ भी नहीं है यहाँ पे कुछ भी नहीं है तो आप थोड़ा पीछे जाइए यहाँ पे यहाँ पे थोड़ा सा पीछे जाइए आप आ, पीछे जाइए और ये जो है ना इसको आप क्लिक कीजिए एक बार और ये जो सेम व्यू लीनियज कीजिए यहाँ पे व्यू व्यू लीनियज यहाँ पे यहाँ पे यहाँ पे जी व्यू लीनियज कीजिए देखिए हाँ बढ़िया यहाँ पे देखिए आपका अभी डेटा सेट है एक मिनट आएगा आना तो चाहिए क्यों नहीं आया ओके कीजिए अच्छा नहीं आ रहा है ना नहीं नहीं आ रहा है ना कोई दिक्कत नहीं आप ऊपर जाइए थोड़ा यू कैन एक्चुअली गो लिटिल बिट ऑफ बैक हम बैक भी जा सकते हैं कोई दिक्कत नहीं है सो लेट्स लेट्स चेक दिस डेटा मार्केट सर ये जो ये जो लिंक है ना इसी को ही हम लोग क्लिक करके देखेंगे क्लिक करो क्लिक कीजिए ये यहाँ पे नहीं यहाँ पे नहीं यहाँ पे नहीं ओके okay, कोई दिक्कत नहीं है कोई दिक्कत नहीं है सो देर इज नो 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 वरिस नो वरिस देर इज अज हेयर एज वेल कैन यू सी दैट व्यू लीनियज ओपन लीनियज ओपन लीनियज ब्यूटिफुल तो हम लोग और एक चीज कर सकते हैं जिसमें हम लोग हाँ देखिए ना 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 ऊपर जाइए आप थोड़ा सा यहाँ पे यहाँ पे क्लिक कीजिए यहाँ पे देखिए यहाँ पे क्लिक कीजिए मैं आपको बताता हूँ नो वरीज यहाँ पे क्लिक कीजिए थोड़ा हाँ देखिए यहाँ पे टेक्स्ट से आप उठाने के लिए ट्राई कीजिए ओके और वहां पे क्लिक कीजिए आप आराम से क्लिक कीजिए क्लिक दैट हाँ देखिए वहां पे आपके पास एक पार्क है जो मैंने आपको गिटहब में जो लिंक भेजा था ना वो है वहां पे डॉट 
raw github content slash mera naam samesh as aur wo pura ka pura path hai wahan pe okay so wahan se fetch ho raha hai aur yahan pe visualize ho raha hai aapke paas dusra hai okay jo aapne kahi pe bhi use hi nahi kiya so these kind of information so can you go back okay aap piche ja sakte hai यहाँ पे यहाँ पे ये जो ये जो ये जो यहाँ पे है इसको क्लिक कर दीजिए बस हाँ बढ़िया तो नाउ व्हाट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन क्लिक ऑन दिस कैन पैन कैन पैन बढ़िया ओके सो हियर यू कैन क्रिएट अ पाइपलाइन सी हियर यू कैन क्रिएट अ पाइपलाइन कैन यू क्रिएट अ पाइपलाइन यू कैन कॉल दिस एज एनीथिंग एनी ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट और समथिंग लाइक दैट लाइक पाइपलाइन और नेम इट एनीथिंग आपको जो लग, अच्छा लगता है क्लिक कीजिए एनी डिस्क्रिप्शन एनी डिस्क्रिप्शन इज फाइन फॉर मी एनी डिस्क्रिप्शन हाँ सो विच स्पेसिफिक स्टेज इज इट एदर इट इज अ डेवलपमेंट स्टेज टेस्ट स्टेज और प्रोडक्शन स्टेज हम लोग बोलेंगे टेस्ट स्टेज आप टेस्ट पे क्लिक कीजिए हाँ बढ़िया अभी असाइन कीजिए उसको देखिए अभी ये असाइन पे आ गया ओके सो नाउ इट डोंट हैव डेवलप इट हैज ओनली इट हैज ओनली कैन पैन कैन सी दैट इट इज जस्ट आप इसको अगर डिप्लॉय कर दोगे ना तो ये यहां पे आ जाएगा यहां पे दो डेटा मार्ट है आपको वो भी दिख रहा है और इसके बीच में यहाँ पे लिंक भी बनेगा थोड़े थोड़े समय में सो राइट नाउ इफ यू क्लिक ऑन दिस वर्क स्पेस यू विल आल्सो गेट समथिंग कॉल्ड इज प्रोडक्शन सी हियर प्रोडक्शन व्हिच यू हैव नॉट क्रिएटेड आपने क्रिएट नहीं किया था ये उसको क्लिक कीजिए आप हाँ हाँ ऑटोमेटिकली क्रिएट हुआ है ओके हाँ देखिए वहां पे वो यू नो अनटाइटल्ड आ गया है पे डेटा सेट ओके सो दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग चेंजेस ओके कैन यू आल्सो अपलोड अ यू नो डैशबोर्ड कैन यू अपलोड अ डैशबोर्ड नॉट इन प्रोडक्शन बट आपका जो टेस्ट है ना टेस्ट के अंदर एक डैशबोर्ड आप अपलोड कर दीजिए कोई भी डैशबोर्ड आपने जो बनाया है मतलब प्रीवियस पुराना कुछ भी नहीं 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 यहाँ पे देखिए लास्ट नहीं नहीं लास्ट अपलोड हाँ वो है आपको वो क्यों यूज करना है आपको कभी भी अपलोड करना है तो आप अपने प्रोडक्शन के अंदर आप यू नो पी फाइल को अपलोड कर रहे हो देखो यहाँ पे लोकल फाइल है वहां पे देखिए लोकल फाइल है आपके पास यहाँ पे देखिए ये वाला लोकल फाइल यहाँ पे लोकल फाइल हाँ Please check the PBX file itself. कुछ भी हाँ anything data card in case of beautiful beautiful see now you have this data card in reality assignment which you have yes. uploaded. so you you have uploaded it into production not into testing to aap wahan pe apka deployment pipelines pe jaiye fir se yahan pe yahan pe dekhiye yahan pe jaake dekhiye click on it okay click on this production see here now now it will say no yahan pe alag hai kuch kuch galat hai can you see that जी वहां पे कंपेयर कीजिए क्लिक ऑन कंपेयर इट विल शो यू द प्रॉब्लम इट इट इज शोइंग थ्री एरर सो इट इज आस्किंग यू इट इज आस्किंग यू टू रिमूव दिस इसको हटाने के लिए बोल रहा है सो दैट द रीजन इट इज इन रेड कलर सो देखिए डिप्लॉयमेंट कैसा होता है मालूम है देर इज अ स्टेज स्टेज वन स्टेज टू स्टेज थ्री प्रोडक्शन इज द फर्स्ट स्टेज 
testing is the second stage and uh, sorry development is the first stage extremely sorry development is the first stage second stage is testing and third stage is the production agar aap iske sath khilwad karoge na to aise wale aapko error aayenge this this is a clear error itself okay jo main aapko bata raha hu isliye main aapko pehle hi bata raha tha ki try to upload it in testing data set कोई दिक्कत नहीं है इसीलिए यहाँ पे माइनस वाला आइकन है तो वो माइनस वाले पे आप एक बार क्लिक कर दीजिए कुछ एक्शन नहीं हो रहा है हाँ कोई दिक्कत नहीं आप थ्री थ्री डॉट्स है वहां पे आप क्लिक वहां पे भी आप क्लिक कर सकते हैं थ्री डॉट्स जी वहां पे So, यहाँ पे एक डिलीट वाला ऑप्शन है और डिलीट वाला ऑप्शन आप यूज कर सकते हैं कोई दिक्कत नहीं वहां पे दिक्कत हो रहा है डिलीट कर रहे पहला चीज आप ऐसा भी कर सकते हैं नहीं तो आप सीधा यहाँ पे डिप्लॉय है ना डिप्लॉय पे आप एक बार क्लिक कर दीजिए कोई दिक्कत नहीं है इट्स इट्स फेसिंग सम प्रॉब्लम राइट डिप्लॉय हाँ सो हाँ यस क्लिक ऑन डिप्लॉय सो नाउ व्हाट विल एक्चुअली हैपन इज व्हाट एवर यू हैव क्रिएटेड वो हट जाता है ओके okay. okay. थोड़ा टाइम ले रहा है कोई दिक्कत नहीं है आप बाद में वर्क स्पेस पे आप इसको देख सकते हैं ओके सो राइट नाउ वी हैव ओनली टू मिनट्स इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस और कंसर्न यू कैन आस्क और एल्स व्हाट वी कैन आल्सो डू इज आई विल प्रोवाइड दिस लाइसेंस टू एवरीवन बट एक एक छोटा सा कंडीशन है कि ये जो लाइसेंस है ना ये एक ही सिस्टम पे काम करेगा जो रातोड़ का सिस्टम है okay so i will take this access of this system tomorrow kal mein ye jo access hai system ka jo power bi premium license hai usko main hatane wala hu okay till then try to do it try to practice it from rathod's system okay and uh, let me know if you are facing any kind of issues or problem i'm there to help you out tomorrow is going to be the yes sir sir today our day is getting close right now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and tomorrow there is weekly uh -huh. लाइसेंस ओके एंड Uh, work it out. I mean, if you if you have any questions or concern, you can ask me. Okay, by Saturday I will take this access uh, to uh, you know to my personal account. And adding to that, uh, our next session that is the class which will be held on Thursday that will be the last class on Power BI. Okay, so that's the reason this is the last week of Power BI. So feel free to work on Power BI. Feel free to ask me any questions or concern. um i am available on whatsapp i might be little bit late in replying but i will reply your answers i mean reply your questions extremely sorry and answer uh, your questions okay sarmesh so, yes uh, we all were requesting to postpone uh, the next session a few days we have uh, certain critical deliverables at at that time friend no worry sir uh, you can talk to 360 digit okay they will check my availability and uh, try to postpone it okay so our coordinator from our side um, mm -hmm. we have already informed her and she is probably going to talk to us okay uh, let the coordinator speak and i am ready for that particular uh, rescheduling okay so thank you okay okay so have a nice day uh, have a great weekend um bye okay thank you thank you thank you